Hello and welcome to the mini video series to the LTE and 802.11 application frameworks version 1.1. In this video I will demonstrate how to run the video streaming demo with the 802.11 application framework. So I assume that you have LabVIEW communications installed also with the optional 802.11 application framework enabled and that you already have your USB Rio connected to your system. If you have done this then you can click application frameworks and then select either one of the 802.11 application framework projects. There are different projects available for different hardwares. I have the USRP Rio with the 40 MHz bandwidth option, so I create an instance of this project. Now when the project has finished loading, you should see the host top level front panel and just as a small hint, if you want to increase the size of the front panel, then you can double click the ribbon and then you can see more of the front panel. Now you can actually run the system, but before we do this, please check the Rio device settings. So this should fit to the device that is connected to your system. If you have only one USB Rio connected to your system, then Rio zero should be fine. And also, at least choose a transmit frequency, which is supported by your device. In my case, I can use the default 2.43 GHz. Now, when we check these settings, we can now run the host application by clicking the Run button or by pressing Ctrl R. If the system is running for the first time, it can happen that this message pops up, but this should disappear soon. And now, as you can see, the application is actually running. First, it downloads the bit file to the FPGA. And if this is done, then the device ready indicator lights up. So this means we can now enable our station. We can click this switch here. And now you can see that there's actually data transmitted. Currently, we have a throughput of 8.2 megabit per second. This is at the moment just random data because on the advanced tab, we have selected data source as PN data and the sync is just configured as off. This means that the received data is discarded at the receiver. Now, when we want to run the video streaming demo, we select data source as UDP and also the data sync as UDP. Now I need the batch files that are available in NI Talk, and here I downloaded them already to my machine. Now I can run the stream video 802.11 batch file and the player will open, which provides now user data to the transmitter. This is encoded as Wi-Fi packets. They are received by the receiver and now you can see that you have a throughput of about one megabit per second, fluctuating according to the current bit rate of the video. So for example, if I pause this video for a moment, then you will see that the throughput goes down to zero. Now I also want to display the received video data and therefore I can run the play video 802.11 batch file and this will open this player and this now receives the data which is sent out by the receiver based on the received data decoded from the received Wi-Fi packets. So if I disable the station then you will see that the video stops. Just as a small hint, instead of running two batch files, as I've just demonstrated, you can also use the video loopback 802.11 batch file, and this will open both players. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you can now also run the video streaming demo on your own. So this concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.